Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. If you like this content, make sure to hit like and let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Now let's get into the video. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to get a sentinel ship, as well as a way to make money pretty fast in the early game. That's kind of what this method is for, is for people in the early game trying to get a sentinel ship. First, I'm going to go through all the ways in case you have a way to get one that's easier. So there's just about three ways that I know of and that I've been able to find. The first and most straightforward is to defeat a sentinel freighter. You get five stars, a sentinel freighter will spawn in space. You can blow it up, it'll give you an item. You use the item, it will take you directly to a sentinel ship. It'll lead you there via quest marker. That is the most straightforward way, but killing a sentinel ship is not super easy, especially with a starting ship. So that's not exactly viable for early game. The second way is a nexus mission. Sometimes you can get the item you need to find one uh, via a nexus mission, but that's kind of random, and the chance of the quest being easy to complete on your own, not high. So, can't always rely on that. And the third way is the way that I'm going to show you. First thing you need to do is you need to find a corrupted planet. Now, there's already one in this system. I think it is this one. Uh, it'll say Corrupted Sentinels when you look at it, like that down there at the bottom. However, you probably don't have one in your galaxy, so I'm going to show you what you do to find one. You will come out, you see right here, beside the G7PF on the system, it says Dissonant. That is what you were looking for. This is another one. If I go here, in fact, I will. If it says Dissonant, that means it's Corrupted Sentinel Planet, and that's what you're looking for. These are honestly pretty common. It's not like you'll be looking for a long time. You might have to make a couple jumps to get there, but it's not like it is super needed. Corrupted Sentinels, perfect. So we're gonna fly down here and I'll show you the next step of this. I'll go ahead and speed this up. All right, and we are here. Uh, quick little thing, most corrupted planets are purple. Now, I actually got really lucky on where I came down. I don't know about really lucky, but I got lucky on where I came down. This is the thing we need to find. These things right here are called dissonance resonators. You can find them via the scope. And these things can drop two things. One, an inverted mirror, which is this. And the other thing, but you need inverted meters anyway, so go ahead and grab them. Ignore the sentinels. You'll need those inverted meters and these radiant shards. They're pretty common on the planet. The dissonance resonators, the thing that I broke just a second ago, are a little more rare. But they're not super rare, and if you get lucky with a planet like this, they're kind of everywhere. But even if you don't, you walk uh, quite a bit in one direction and keep opening your scope, you'll find one in under a couple minutes you also if you already have it this is what you need an echolocator if you already have one you can walk up it'll tell you what it's going to drop be ready to leave after you get it if you have a ship that doesn't have good launch thrusters or you don't have a lot of launch fuel feel free to just run back to your ship but in the case i do so we're chilling hopefully all right now that i'm back in my ship Here's the next step. You will take the echo locator, uh, the echo locator. You have to be on a corrupted planet to use it, but this is where you're gonna find one anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. You come into your menu, you hold E, it will scan. Launch dusters are low. It will find this harmonic echo. There it is right there. You're gonna fly over to this. I will again fast forward. This. So you can just land anywhere near here. By the way, I do recommend getting some launch duster fuel. You'll be taking off with your ship quite a bit. But if you can't, it is all right. You'll come to this machine right here. You will read the files, the memory registers. It will You will need to remember three numbers. You need to solve these, which they're always just basic math. I know that might be hard for some people, but you can always write it down if you need to. Three plus four, three plus four is seven, three plus six is nine, 10 minus four is six. So we have seven, nine, six. Remember that? You remember those three numbers, seven, nine, six. Then you come into input override glyphs and you input them seven, nine, 
and six. It will make this little noise here. Oh, you know, it's done. Uh, this is a little side thing. You can go ahead and undo the seal for the gun over there. And you might want to look at that too because it's a free gun and it's probably better than your default gun. You'll hit scan dissonant spikes like I just did. It will find a dissonant spike. That is where the ship is. It will lead you to it. That right there is where we will head next. But I'll go ahead and show you. Multi-tool, feel free to skip through this. This is a C-class. You'll have to repair this stuff. Most of this stuff is on the planet. The hardest thing for you to get is going to be the, either the inverted mirrors, which I showed you how to get those, or the crystalline hearts. If you can't get a crystal, crystal, chrysalis, if you can't get a heart, um, just use a repair kit. It works for it, and you can get those from the pirate outposts and some other places. No launch thruster fuel. You hate to see it. Anyway. Back to what we're doing. So we'll fly over to the ship. I'll actually run you through the process of how to fix the ship. However, if all you're trying to do for me is find a ship, you've done it. This ping is where the ship is. It will tell you how to fix it itself. I'm just going to be here to finish the tutorial, essentially. I'll fast forward this again and I'll see you all in just a little bit. All right, and we are landing. Let's see what we get here. This one's all right. It looks a little goofy in my opinion, but it's still kind of cool. Sometimes the light will do that. You'll walk up to the ship, put these in your inventory. Uh, they're all pretty nice things. You can get rid of them if you want, but, you, but make sure you keep the Highline Brain. You need that. This thing. Uh, you can break down salvage glass and do a tech, by the way. You might want to use that you might not just a little tip anyway once you have three shards and the inverted mirror in your inventory which it will lead you you can scan for them and it will just give you a little map ping on where they are we'll go ahead and do that i could just get them for my freighter for the sake of the tutorial i will just show you these I got lucky, there were three stacked on top of each other. Not super lucky, but there's a chance that you won't have that. Just keep looking, it's not too hard. Anyway, now the Highline Brain will be glowing. You come here, click E. It will again give you another navigational location, navigational ping. This can be pretty far on the planet. You might wanna take your ship there, but I've also seen a couple be pretty close. Can't see quite how far it is, but I'm going to assume I need my ship for it. It is pretty far. I'm going to fast forward and I will see y'all when I get there. All you have to do with this is also these are words. You might want to you might want to get these if you care about the words. If not, it's, okay, it's just not gonna let me, whatever. I don't care too much. Come up here, you'll talk to it. It's just gonna say, hey, whatever. You click the one button that lets you present brain. It will automatically work. It'll just fix the brain for you. And then you fly back. Nothing super special. This is happens every time. You just have to fly over here and get it. Sadly, you cannot pre-prepare those as far as I know. It would be pretty cool if you could. Walk up to it with the brain you now have. And if you have the inverted mirror shards and the brain, you just click here, it fixes it, and you have done it. Now you have a ship. You can hit claim ship, and then you can just get in it. Everything in it works. Everything is good. It's like, I'll see how this looks when you take off. This is my favorite part. Kind of lame. This is kind of lame. I'm not going to lie. But that's all right. That was what you were here for though. I'm glad that I could help and show you how. That's really good for early things. If you wanna see how to make money with this system, uh, stick around for just a few more minutes and I got you. Hello, this is future me talking over past me right now. Uh, so the system that I was going to show you how to make money actually doesn't work anymore. I don't know if it got patched out or bugged. 
in case it is just a bug, you just go back to that system, uh, that building, and have it scan for another dissonance spike. If you put down a custom marker, when you do it, you can just keep going back to that system and finding a new ship. But when I tried it, it didn't work. But you can still make money. All you have to do is just keep refinding new Sentinel ships and then selling them. Each of them sells for over 30 million. The one in this video actually sells for 55 million. I'll have that playing in the background so you can see and see proof that it really does sell for that much. But that's how you're gonna get money with this system. 50 million in the early game is insane. That can buy you so much, including a freighter. So that's nothing to scoff at. But that is the whole video. Let me know if you have any questions down below or if I helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this is the kind of content you want. Uh, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.